So I'm going to be showing you guys how to sync a lot of video clips, well, multiple video clips with just one audio. Okay, so multiple video clips, one audio. So let's go. Since this is mostly about weddings, I do weddings. I'm going to be, this example is going to be syncing files from a wedding ceremony. Since it's like um, multiple camera clips, so like from the bride's angle, from the groom's angle, and so on. So, you know, it's going to be multiple clips. So I'm going to be syncing three angles together. So from the bride's perspective, groom's perspective, and then from the videographer's perspective where you show it, where you're seeing both the bride and the groom. So I'll be syncing those on three um, angles. So these these clips are in these folders. So this is video one. This is one of the angles, one of the angles, one of the angles. So in Final Cut Pro, you have to go to the main uh, project in here. So this is the main event, the main project, whatever. So what you do is first you choose the audio. So in this case, my audio is this one because I already went through it. I know what file it is. So this is my audio. So what I do now is after I click my audio, I hold the command button and after you hold it, you can scroll down, scroll down to the other files. So just look for the ceremony files that you want where the officiant is talking and stuff like that. So I know this is one of them. This is not one of them because this is when she's entering the ceremony. So this is definitely one of them. This is one of the clips. This is one of the clips. And this one you can tell it's not. So this is where they're going out. So what you can do also is um, when you hold command, you can also click on it to unselect. If you selected the wrong one, let's say I selected this one and it's not the file. So I just hold command again and I select it to unselect it. So, okay, so that's one of the clip, one of the um, angles, which is angle from uh, the groom looking at the bride. So this is like bride camera because you are, you know, this camera is dedicated to the bride. So this, I call this the bride camera. Okay. So that's the bride camera. And I explain this whole thing in another video called how to film a wedding ceremony video um, using the triangle formula. So uh, I explain all that, why I have three cameras and the triangle formula in that video. And I'll link it up um, right now on the corner. So yeah, so you select the files you want to um, sync. So this angle is a one I want to sync. And then I want to sync um, where's the other angle? This angle from the bride's perspective, looking at the groom. So this is the groom's um, camera in the triangle formula. So now there's one more clip, which is the officiants, um, where you see the bride and groom and the officiant. This is the file we're looking for right here, where you see both the bride and groom. So command, and then you click them all together. So now here it says you have seven files selected, right? So what you do from here now is you right click on any of the seven files. So in this case, I'll just um, right click on this one since I'm already down here. So you right click and it'll bring up these options here. So new compound clip, new multi cam clip, synchronized clips. Uh, this is the one you choose. You choose the synchronized clips. So you click here. And then um, I usually it's like this, you know, so you can choose um, synchronized clip name. You can choose what name you want to name it. You know, you can name it um, ceremony, ceremony synced or whatever you want to name it, you know. So I'll just put it as ceremony synced and then um, event, of course, just leave it because it's going to be in the right event anyways. And I don't really touch this here. Uh, this is the only thing that's clicked and just leave this clicked or if it's not clicked, click this So that way you can use audio for synchronization. So don't worry about any of this use custom settings This is for like when you are advanced and somebody who's advanced. I'm sure you're not gonna be 
watching this video because you probably already know how to do this when you comes here just click this and then click OK so I'm not gonna click OK because I already synced before I recorded this video because it's gonna take a while to sync and I don't want you guys sitting here watching me for like two three minutes just waiting for it to sync now um, so you click on the link sorry so you click on the file as you can see I already is uh, this was my synced file you right click on it and then you click open clip okay right click on the sync synchronized whole clip and then um, open clip so when you click open clip it opens up so I already opened up my clip which is here so now that it's opened um, I just took these um, I just uh, took the volume down on these I mean you can keep them on if you want so just so you can see if it's synced so these I put them down but you could you can see that they all match they all match the file the audio file that I wanted to to match them with which was this one from the DJ okay so this was my zoom h4n that I connected to the DJ okay so just listen in right now is that same kind of commitment that he demonstrates in a marriage and I want to remind you of that intentionality you get clear audio from the that God DJ. demonstrates with us and that he desires you to demonstrate with each other so just as you pursued each other from afar way in, way and miles away and from close proximity in Orlando all these match for those that little chair that you bought so as you can see the files are all synced so that's all you do you just um get all the files you want and then you click synchronize and then there you go and then you synchronize so that's how you do it and then after you synchronize all the clips let's say let's say actually after you synchronize this whole thing what I do is I don't edit it in here because this is where the, the clip the synchronized clip is so what I do is I just get all the all the files copy and I bring them to the timeline and I paste them to the timeline so and then from here I work on them as far as like editing them and doing all that stuff cutting them and arranging them and stuff but my main thing is just to organize to get the clear audio to put the to get the clear audio you know on the right spot so yeah so that's that guys I hope uh, this was helpful thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one final cut Fridays baby let's go subscribe and like the video too thank you